No snow and no rain, although we need any kind of precipitation at this point. A live Super Doppler 4 combined with our satellite showing we've got partly cloudy skies. Rain back toward Middle Tennessee, not making it our way. In fact, our forecast is bone dry for the upstate for the next 7 to 10 days. The mountains, you may get a few rain showers on Halloween morning into the early afternoon. Let me show you the brand new drought update. We've been upgraded here to the level 3. This is a severe drought. You don't need me to tell you this. Your yard probably tells you. We've got a severe drought from Greenville through Spartanburg, and this is where we've seen the driest of conditions. You see a level two drought in Anderson, Abbeville, Greenwood. Now your particular town may have a little bit worse condition or a little bit better condition than what's shown here. Notice the level four drought back toward Middle Tennessee. Yeah, they have not had a drop of rain, so it's really, really dry across the southeast, and it really doesn't show any signs of letting up. So what does that mean for leaf season? It means it's going to be very short. Dry seasons usually leave to vibrant colors, which we have right now in downtown Greenville, but it also means those leaves are hanging on by a thread. The first big cold front we get is going to knock a lot of those leaves off, which will be next week. So 77 degrees right now. It feels like uh, late summer out in many communities as we're pushing 80 degrees. Anderson 78, 77 in Spartanburg is 77 in Asheville. Tomorrow morning, waking up to more mild conditions, mid to upper 50s. Not too bad out. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. In fact, as we look at your Saturday hour by hour, we're into the 80s by the afternoon. It's it's going to be really nice just about everywhere we go. Asheville to Hendersonville temperatures get to around 80 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. It'll be very nice out, but toasty. These temperatures are running about 10 to 15 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. The temperature trend shows we stay there through Monday and then look at that. By Halloween Tuesday, we are crashing down almost a 20 degree swing in one day as we're back closer to where we should be. Let me show you this town by town. So we got those southerly winds really pumping in that warm air. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, all pushing near 80 degrees. But look up toward the top part of your screen early next week. Monday is going to be hot, but look at Tuesday. This cold front comes crashing in. It's going to be comfortable. We're actually back to where we should be this time of the year on Tuesday afternoon. But by trick or treat time, I'll pause it right here at 9 o'clock. You'll want the jacket as those northerly winds are beginning to pick up, and it's going to be mighty chilly going into Wednesday. Look at this. Waking up to the 20s and 30s with frost and freeze conditions across the area. Wednesday's highs in the 40s and 50s, even 30s in the mountains. And then on Thursday, we'll wake up to a freeze in most every community in our area, which will end the ragweed season and it will start to get away with those pests like mosquitoes, which will be nice. How long does it stick around? Well, early indications are through at least November 6. We're going to see cooler than average temperatures. All right, the four day looks like this. 83 degrees tomorrow, 81 on Sunday. We're still in the 80s on Monday. I've issued an impact day, basically highlighting here on Tuesday, the much cooler air coming our way. And let's break down Halloween for you a little bit closer here as you're out trick or treating clear skies. I expect no rain impacts in the upstate. It'll be cooling down though. You want a jacket as it'll be back down to the 40s and it doesn't stop there. I've issued impact days for Wednesday and Thursday as well. Our likely first widespread frost and freeze that'll end the growing season across the or even though we're at freezing on Friday, it's already done. If you have any tender plants, you want to bring them in. Same story for the mountains as you'll see highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s for a couple of days.